What's up, everybody? This is your old pal, Clint Wiener, and uh, this is episode one of Fodder Fire, uh, releasing them in a crazy, nonsensical order, but what are you going to do? Uh, it's fun. Yeah, me and Brian, chitting, chatting, getting to know each other. Uh, back a few months ago, I think, in January, February. I don't know. Anyway, hope you're digging it. Hope you're having a good day. Stay tuned for exciting conversation by interesting, intelligent young men. SMR, just get like all these different meats and just like slap it. Welcome to Venus. Yeah. Yeah. So is that German? Your last name? Is a Wiener? Yes, Wiener is German. So what does um, that mean? I like? think initially it was W E H N E R or something like that. Um, and then it got changed somewhere along the along the lines. I think there was like land deeds that my dad found with W E H N E R Wenner, more of that name. Yeah. And then some dumbass changed it to Wiener, I guess. Probably, <laughs> probably when they came to America, that's what happened yeah. with Rademacher. Yeah. Well, it was Rodmacher, then they made it Radmaker. Rod Rodmacher, is yeah. that German? Yep. Yeah. One who puts wheels on wagons <laughs> i don't know what wiener is <laughs> you like, had to sell hot dogs yeah just, <laughs> just, just one who brats. like weans i always say it's w-e-a too so like it's like weaning off something yeah the just wiener. a constant constantly weaning <laughs> oh i need to i'm gonna bring my laptop and get some jamie action going yeah for sure well that's what we got to you know we could put the tv up on a thing and, well, ideally, we could do that, and then eventually we'd hire some kid to do it for us and be like, you're the yeah, Jamie now. Do what we say. <laughs> yeah, internship. <laughs> internship is way underutilized, dude. I feel like we're at the age now where it's like, if we just tell a kid to do something, it's an internship. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> like aquatic, that's, yeah. you know, it seems, yeah, it's like, it seems like not a good thing to do. Like, you know, like taking advantage of a kid, but they don't know anything. They need to learn. That's right. And the best way to learn is hanging out with the wiener. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Briz. Yeah, you <laughs> remember Nate Bronson, nonsense. right? Which, Nate, Nate Bronson? Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. He's, he's doing some kind of, like, teaching internship downstate. Okay. And he's got to pay to do it. He's got to pay to do it? Yeah. Yeah. So that sucks. And That's I don't think insane. it's cheap either. But so, it's, and it's like, we're not letting you in the room with these kids. Unless you, like <laughs> you gotta pay for the company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but it's like supposed to be a really high end school. Really? So it's like once you get done with it, you can probably get a job. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, he yeah. made it sound like he's gonna be balling hard. So, well, he's gotta pay for the fucking wakeboarding boat somehow, yeah. right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not paying itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I haven't actually seen him since I was a. Well, he, he did. He go to Northern. I forget if he was part of that yeah, whole squad. Yeah, I think he actually graduated. I remember attending some sort of graduation for yeah. him. Unless that was I like... I think I remember seeing him in Northern. Him and like Donahue and a bunch of those kids had a, yeah. had a party house. Unless they fun. were just so happy to get him out of there. They gave him like a certificate for Yeah, living. who knows, dude. <laughs> but I, I think he got something up there. I don't remember what yeah. it was. Um... Yeah, fucking the olden days. But yeah, Wiener, German, pretty sure. I don't know. My parents did the 23 and Me thing, but I forget, honestly. Oh, really? I remember my dad was bummed out that he wasn't more Irish. Really? Yeah. I think because of the Catholic thing. I think <laughs> oh, okay. he thought he was maybe some... Superhuman super Catholic. Catholic. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like, dude. Perfect genes to be the best Catholic yeah. ever. Oh. Yeah, exactly. He's got it inside of him. I got, so, a, I got a record for him then. A record? Yeah, my grandparents were like huge Pope John Paul II oh my fanatics. God. Oh my god! And dude. there's a Pope John Paul II album. I don't know what's on it, dude. For real? You think he'd like that? He'll fucking go nuts, <laughs> no dude. Way. He'll go nuts like it was like the first Beatles album, dude. <laughs> like, no, no my way. my brother though. This is even my brother's super into he, my brother's real into Catholicness and stuff really? too. Mm -hmm. And he's really into John Paul too. They love John Paul too. What is it about? What? I don't know, dude. I don't know. But they'll have because we got this new pope a few years ago, 
who seems pretty cool. He's like Pope Francis. He's like, and he just made it cool for uh, not gay marriage, but civil unions, which yeah. is huge. And, you know, it's a fucking big deal. And they just got their first uh, African-American archbishop, I think. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. super cool stuff. I'm stoked about it because I yeah. grew up Catholic and it's always been kind of weird. And it's like, oh, it's nice to see some, some progress. Change. But yeah. I, th- I think they fucking hate it. <laughs> I'll probably, like, you the know, people who think they're devout super Catholics. Yeah, are probably like, yeah. He, uh, but they love John Paul too. They still have like pictures of him around and like. So that's funny. Your grandparents are into it. There must be some kind of, yeah, something. That there's a lot like that. That it's just like we just don't know. You know, He's we like just don't know about the JFK it. JFK of Pope. Sure. Yeah. Didn't get killed. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy! I don't even know who did he. Is Pope did is he now. die? Does he, is he? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Hell. Is that yeah. how popes go? You die, and then the new one comes. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's crazy. The history of popes is it's insane. And I watched this show, The Borgias. Do you hear that? I have heard of that. Is on like A and E or it's on uh, History Channel. Or there's those. there's two different series. One. By BBC British Broadcasting, not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, yeah. and um, the other one is on Stars, I think. And Stars are Showtime. And oh, the yeah. one I saw was the Stars are Showtime one. I'm going to catch the BBC one sometime. But it's about Pope Alexander the Sixth, I believe. Oh, God. And his family. And in every time period piece I've watched after that, that goes over Pope elections and the. Oh, the college uh, cardinals or whatever it is. Yeah, when they get together and do this the smoke vote. coming out of the thing. Yeah, it's all payoffs. Really? Yeah, like in the past. I don't know how it is now. Yeah, sure, sure. But like it was a hustle. Dude. How, it was <laughs> a... That, yeah. The Medici's were... They were balls deep in that. The Medici's? Okay, yeah. Where are the Medici? That's a family? Yeah, the Italian bankers okay. from Florence. Um, Two of them were popes over time like the, the family got overthrown and you know went to shit at one yeah. point and when they did i think two standing members were in the church and became popes and they pretty much got revenge yeah if i remember correctly because that, that's how machiavelli got screwed okay um but i don't no 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 he didn't machiavelli got screwed by a different medici okay okay one, there was like a long offshoot Medici, and they were like, they gave him power, yeah. and he came back, and he banned Machiavelli. So this, they kind of just like let him have his, a little bit, of this Medici after his, so the Medici family went, lost all they had but there was still like a, this other kind of long lost Medici hanging yeah, out he was probably like a bastard's bastard back. sure yeah. yeah Um. but yeah he was like yeah my great grandfather got fucked by you and I'm yeah gonna, dude <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd have to I, now I want to get more to that. I love time period shows but yeah. uh, Medici's they were paying popes forever um, and then when Pope Alexander came in he was before any of the Medici's were popes Okay. But, yeah, those Pope elections are insane. Okay. Threats, deaths, money. Yeah, that makes sense, though. I mean, well, of course it's not It's not surprising, but then it kind of is. I wonder what it's like now. Surprising. Probably the same. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah, like before iPhones, like it showed the... So when Pope Alexander Borgia was being elected in the show, you know, and TV always, like, makes things sexy and cool. Sure. And, like, yeah. his son, one of his sons was working deals, shifting money, giving lands to other cardinals to for the vote. Okay. And, like, it shows one night when they're all getting there. They weren't allowed to leave, go see the outside world. They yeah. ordered food, had it brought to them. And Borgia's son in the show was, like, slipping notes in pig's mouths because they were getting, like, little baby pigs for dinner. Yeah. And it was just, like, really <laughs> weird <laughs> notes in their food. We Before were... iPhones, we had pig notes. Yeah. <laughs> then Ravens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, dude. 
But yeah, and then they do the smoke thing. That's all I really know about it, is that they do the smoke thing where if a certain color smoke comes out, then they have a Pope yeah, elected, I right? I think it's the white smoke. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's crazy. So they're just sitting in there comparing how much gold each of them got. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like, like, all right, I guess we're going to go with this The last guy. bribe came in. We can do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting on, yeah, we're waiting on so-and-so to yeah. see if he's going to come through. And, and, the, and the other thing that, like, makes me think a lot is, like, all those popes that were elected in, like, way back then, mm-hmm. they came from big family, like, powerful right, families. Right, right. So there's so, already stuff going on yeah, so for who, that they were kind of beholden to. I never looked into it, but, like, who are these popes related to now? That's like, a is good, it still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it still, like, nepotism-y like that? Yeah. I don't... I've never heard that before. It seems like, you, you know, you think they're all... But, of course, that's what they would want you to think until you look in and realize, like, oh, this is goes goes deeper yeah. <laughs> into the fucking Pope web. But... Pope. <laughs> I don't know. Well, because they can't have kids, those, right? So, yeah. like, does yeah. that kind of... Well, it was always big... Well, they always had kids. They all okay, so yeah. they used to always have yeah. kids. Borgia yeah. had a bunch of bastards. Okay, okay. And but they still wouldn't acknowledge them as their children. Yeah, like, I think they, I think Borgia was the first to acknowledge okay, his children. Okay. Um, but all the other popes, like they were all dirty bastards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were seeing hookers, and they all had bastard kids. Some of them had them killed. Some yeah. of them had them taken away and cared for. Yeah. Just depends on how fucked up they were. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, they. So the popes just came from the big families, like the like the Medici, on the Sforzas. And who else was there? I can't remember. But basically those two families, they had popes. Yeah. They, like, if you weren't the heir to your family throne, you were um, going to be a pope. Okay. Or used for, like, a marriage okay. proposal of sorts yeah. where your family benefited. Yeah, yeah we're going to figure out how to use you. I'd rather be used than be pope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you get to wear the fun clothes. Get yeah. The, fucking, the tablecloths. That shit's intense, man. I it went is. to Italy one time when I was like 16. We went to the Vatican and saw the Pope and did, oh, really? like, you know, at the big, uh, he goes and Was it John Paul? It was John Paul. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him in the flesh, dude. Tell your grandparents. So I assume it was him. It could have been his, his double. But yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, just the the architecture and just how beautiful is the ornate fucking traditions and how long it's been around is intense dude and then you think about like oh this is a religion okay (laughs) i guess (laughs) it looks more like a fucking government that's trying to take shit over plum thick (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah yeah. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I would feel like I'm like back in the 1500s to the 1700s, something like that. Yeah. It probably felt like a time yeah, warp, for didn't sure. it? Yeah, the, all the there's those uh, guards everywhere that wear the fun. They wear fun clothes. Everybody wears super fun clothes. The guards wear like they look kind of like jesters with funny hats. Oh, really? Um, just well, they have like knickers on with the long socks and then kind of a beret if I remember correctly and then kind of baggy like a fancy lad a fancy lad yeah there we go (laughs) exactly dude (laughs) the Pope the Pope loves fancy lads you know that (laughs) he's like you're gonna wear this (laughs) I got your clothes bitches yeah I'm gonna go run around get me a plum I know Uh, so what's this show called Uh, the Borgias the Borgias yeah it's Sounds good. I want to check it out. I'm looking for a new show. Historical shit like that is pretty pretty entertaining. Yeah. I saw there's one on HBO, I think, called just Popes, I think, or the Pope oh, or something like that. Oh, the Young Pope. The Young, the young pope. pope, yeah. Or the Two Popes or something like that. I think like Young Pope was one of them, which yeah. almost sounds like a fucking like, Eddie Murphy movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> young Pope. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, maybe it's somebody's movie, it sounds like. Yeah, I think there was two popes, then young pope. It's, a, it's like a series and a spinoff series. Okay. Jude Law, I think. Yeah, yeah, Jude Law, and he's, he's like, it's a lot like you were saying, like nefarious activities 
all kinds of dirty Pope stuff. So how far into that? Are you watched? I only thing? watched a couple episodes, and then I was like, this is a little... I forget why exactly I didn't like it. Too, you know, too much talking, probably, and <laughs> yeah. just like... I, I can't I can't follow it. Didn't want to didn't want to get into it at that point. Yeah, it it was hard for me. Like a lot of drama. Yeah, I didn't like time period shows at first, but then when like at some point I realized like how shit back then affected yeah. us now. Yeah, like the Tudors is a great one. Yeah. Um, and see that's cool. The new Pope one, it's a, it's fake. It's just like about a fake young Pope. Yeah. And it kind of and then it's kind of like set in modern world. Loosely so it's not based really off John like, Paul II. Is it? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah, I don't okay. know. Probably. They just made it like a yeah. new coming yeah, of right. age sexy story of John Paul II. <laughs> yeah, sexy John Paul II story. <laughs> Jude that'd Law II. Like, <laughs> oh man, that'd be great. Jude Paul. It was like before John Paul died, we asked him who he would want. <laughs> who would want him, who he would want to have playing him in a movie and he said Jude Law for sure. Those oh my god. Gorgeous piercing blue eyes. <sighs> Tudors. What's Tudors about? That's also The Tudors is uh King Henry the Eighth. Okay. It's about his reign. Yeah. And uh he became king after his brother died and King Henry was like very young. Yeah. And like history portrays him as a piece of shit asshole, pretty yeah. much. And he was. He killed uh, five... He didn't kill all his wives. He killed the majority of them. Decapitated yeah. them. Um, and th- no one really knows. I'm assuming he just got tired and wants a new booty. Yeah. But he... It would be framed as if they were betraying him and treason sure. and all short Like yeah. Anne Boleyn, like that was the big reason. one. Yeah. yeah, Anne Boleyn. Um, but it also... In that process, his first wife, Queen Catherine, he just, she got older. She was older when he got her. Okay. And he grew tired of her. She couldn't produce any more kids. They just had Mary. And then he wanted to get with Anne Boleyn really bad. And that's, that's I think that's where shit changed for England as far as the, the church goes. Because the Pope wouldn't give him the divorce he wanted. Okay. And it, they worked on it for years. Okay. And and I think it was one of those things. And I think it was a Medici Pope, too. Yeah. And um, it was one of those things where they wanted him to play ball. And I don't know if he was just too stubborn or proud to do what sure. they wanted. But he didn't get like, it. We're and, not getting the, we're not giving you to the divorce. Then. Yeah. And, and at the same time, they had the huge Protestant versus, versus Catholic sure. war going. Catholics were burning Protestants. Mm-hmm. And Protestants slipped their way in to his uh, his council, I guess, mm-hmm. and um, they were pretty much like, "Well, if you separate from the Church of England, mm-hmm. you have supreme power and are the voice of God." Of yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was divorce like, "I love want. that." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So divorce whoever he wanted after yeah. that, or killed. But yeah, that's a divorce for him. <laughs> Decapitating. <laughs> <laughs> but and it's like. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it would be, you know, you think about what if that never happened? Yeah. And the church was still balls deep in everything we yeah. do now. Yeah, sure. Like sure. the government or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That is who? interesting. Well, that's why, you know, sometimes you just got to decapitate your wife and for the good of humanity. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I like, I always think if I could time travel, I'd want to go back and meet him. But yeah. then I feel like if I got there... I would get killed instantly yeah. for being different. <laughs> like, Probably. I hope they but speak good English. You never know, dude, what it was really like back then, you know? Yeah. Like I, maybe you'd find your crew and, and, and be like, oh, these people are actually cool. I'll go hang out with them. And there's actually some... And they just never wrote anything down. Nobody... Yeah. You know, some they were just dick like, wrote our history. They were totally wrong. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it was actually way more fun. Yeah. Uh, um, I just picture, like, some kind of, like... Lovecraftian, Love, Lovecraftian, uh, senior with dead bodies everywhere, yeah. crows, fog, no monsters, but just dead bodies, yeah. and darkness, yeah, kind of like Dark Souls. It's probably actually really what it was like, yeah, especially with the plague and the plague and everything they had. Yeah, man, it's people with those fucking masks with the crow with the fucking mask that make you look even scarier. Yeah, like give the uh, the plague masks that the doctors would wear. It's like let's just look like extra creepy during this horrible scary time. We'll Someone just, just rolling around in the fog in England <laughs> yeah, like that dude. with a sword. Uh, Fuck. 
Yeah. You ever see that something. movie, dude, uh, that's Solomon Kane, I think it's called, and it kind of takes place during that time, it's, and he's just, like, roaming around through the plague looking for something or another. There's all these wacky-ass freaky people. <laughs> is that the one with uh, Jeremy something? He was in Rome... Was he know. fighting actual de- evil spirits in the show? I forget if it was real. I think there were actual real evil spirits, but it wasn't too much. It wasn't, like, out of control. Um, like, most... Uh, yeah, I forget. It was just, just, it was just cool. Did he I remember the scenery as, start cool. as, like, a pirate? I don't think so. And then sold his soul? Okay, never mind. No, I think Probably I know different. what you're talking about. And that one, similar kind of story, but not as cool because it was more fantasy-like. Yeah, yeah it was the sexy sci-fi version. making up all of this? I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, I did not see that, though. Solomon Kane. Let's check that That's out. It's a cool one, man. Um, another good one on Netflix, actually. You guys have Netflix, right? Yeah. Uh, it's called The King. Okay. And that's about Henry V. All right. In his uh, big battle at Agincourt. All right. The and that's King. epic. Okay. Bra- um, Brad Pitt's production company did that, and I think he produced, too. We'll check that out. You know, a lot of stuff I probably wouldn't check out on my own unless it was recommended. So, yeah. The King... I'll do that. A lot, a lot of talk and boring stuff. stuff. Yeah. It's nice. Me and Liana like that. She's, you know, it's always kind of tough to find things that you, that you both really like. So we'll end up just watching kind of like basic fucking Bones. We watch Bones all the time. I, <laughs> like I saw Like Law and Order or whatever. And I was like, that looks boring as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like bedtime TV for really? sure. Really? But, you know, so because it's hard, it's hard to find shit, dude. You're sitting there, like, wasting an hour looking through stuff. And if I'm by myself, I'll, like, just kind of put on whatever. But if you're with somebody else watching it, you feel a little more like, oh, I better make, make sure we watch something cool because I don't want to... I don't want her to be bored and like, oh, we want to not waste our time. I don't know. Plus, like, I'll, if I'll just watch some some of the stupidest crap. Like, I'll just watch, I don't know, just really dumb TV and not really pay attention. Just be thinking about something else, you know? Yeah. The the okay, nice well. thing probably about dating Liana, she's so smart. Exactly. And like, yeah. fact and logic, she would not watch The Notebook probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you don't have to worry about thing. that. But I would, dude. Like, I'm totally like <laughs> I'm way more. I'll watch like even chick flicks and stuff. Like, I'm down. But yeah, she exactly. So like something like that that has history in it yeah. and is is stimulating. That's, that's funny. That's a good pick. But yeah, dude. Like that's what I was. Yeah, like I'll watch fucking Hallmark movies and shit, dude. I will too. Maybe not that bad, but I'll, (laughs) like, you know, I smoke weed. What can I say? (laughs) Like, sometimes, you know, my brain will get going and I'll just be like, whoa, I'll start fucking thinking about my childhood. (laughs) (laughs) I, uh, I always go back to a show we watched when I was a kid called Road to Avonlea. I don't know that one. And it was like, I think it was some PBS or some Hallmark show. Yeah. And it was just some posh old timey. Yeah. Like I had there's these like girls Dawson's that, Creek kind of a no, vibe or like no okay. like, like like old timey. Yeah, yeah, cuz I think it was like based in the 1800s. Okay. I could be wrong, okay. early 1900s maybe. Yeah. I never I haven't watched it in a long Road time. Road to Avonlea. Road to Avonlea. Avonlea. Yeah. And um the only notable actress or actor in it is Sarah Potter. She was in that Dawn of the Dead remake, The Blonde. Okay. She was like a really young kid in that. Okay. But. I feel like I went to high school with a Sarah Potter. Pro- I think anyway. her last name is Potter. <laughs> she was in a few. She doesn't do a lot of movies. But. What's up with it, though? The show? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It was yeah. so like, as a kid, I watched it with my family because like that's. We didn't have yeah, a lot of channels on. that was on yeah, TV, right. so I was, like, hooked. Right. But, like, I watched an episode recently, like, probably five years ago recently, and it was so fucking boring. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't fucking finish it. Dude. And it's, like, super cheesy. Yeah. Like, the, it will focus on different characters. There's a lot of characters, and it will focus okay. on different ones per episode, kind of like most shows. And they just run into all these, like, moral problems, like, yeah. oh, you did this wrong. Blah, blah blah, and you gotta be honest and fix it, and like just all this weird <laughs> shit. When was it made? Like when we were kids, or yeah, what? Okay. yeah, okay. probably in the early to mid nineties. So I'll check it out on a YouTube. Yeah, some I'll, point. It's I'll funny s- when you bring shit like that up, and then it just 
like did you like it you liked it when you were a kid yeah when i was right? a kid like yeah. you like, this is cool yeah and you bring shit up and then it's like what the fuck yep. <laughs> oh my God. Yep. i was watching the shit out of this show yeah uh, I, I brought that up to some girls i went to high school with their twins and we were talking and um i bootlegged it yeah because i hadn't seen it forever yeah and I was like, I want to see that shit. Yeah, yeah. I did that, and I told them I bootlegged. They laughed their asses <laughs> off because I bootlegged Road to fucking Avonlea. <laughs> All the like, things. Yeah. You've got, like, the history of television at your fingertips. Yeah, and it was, like, the biggest waste of space and download ever <laughs> in the world. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, some things just don't hold up too well. I watched Ren and Stimpy recently, and I was kind of really? disappointed. Like, the art's still cool and stuff, but it's just like, oh, this is a little... Just a bunch of nonsense. I it's fun though. I never you know? got into them a lot. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch that shit. Yeah, I kid. really wasn't too. Maybe that's why I was. <laughs> maybe that's yeah, why we, it we had that Catholic place upbringing. In my heart. No yeah, Simpsons. Dude. No, uh, no Stimpy. Yeah, the Stimpy. Simpsons were like on the cusp. Like it was the Simpsons were like, nah, like I could watch it. It was I could watch it, but it wasn't like. There's somebody who's gonna say something about it, or something. Somebody who's gonna be like, "Nah, whatever. That's not very funny, or something stupid." But yeah, like Beavis and Butthead was like yes. definitely not. Um, yeah, uh, that was really the big one was Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I got lucky when South Park came around in seventh grade because by that that point, my parents just didn't give a yeah. shit. They were yeah, yeah, like yeah. But I remember it's kind of funny because when I was little and we lived downstate. There was a uh, bad car accident on the corner of our street. Yeah. In this, like, old boat of a car. They were shit-faced and wrapped their car around a tree in someone's yard, and it was nasty. Fuck. Yeah. Everyone from the neighborhood's walking down there, and, like, I wanted to go. My parents were like, no, you stay home. Yeah. And, like, I just went in the living room and, like, popped on, like, I think it was Beavis and Butthead or Simpsons. Yeah. And I was like, this is the only time I can watch this. <laughs> it's like it's like apocalypse. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, the <laughs> fucking tragedy going on down the street. <laughs> like, oh. Yes. Finally. Shit. Yeah, gonna, That's what has to happen. I'm going to look for headphones with a long-ass cord. Yeah, the long cord is better, is good. Um, yeah, dude, just get yourself some, like, nice headphones like this that you like listening to music in, and mm-hmm. that'll, that'll do the trick for, yeah. for whatever, you know. Yeah. You don't have to, yeah, you don't have to get, like, any kind of special, um, yeah, headphones or anything just just good ones yeah i've had awesome. these for like fucking probably how old am i probably i've had them like 12 13 years they look very new they always make me feel like a helicopter pilot when i wear them. <laughs> it looks like camouflage. It looks- <laughs> yeah it makes it feel super cool so did you go to like uh church growing up and everything with the yeah sort of, yeah, yeah so we you, for a good while i yeah. went i even went to a catholic school for one okay. grade yeah um, downstate. Yeah, downstate. We li- I lived in Temperance, Michigan. And uh, we went to church for a while, and then it got to the point. My dad was a health inspector down there and up here. He did a job transfer. We moved up here. But down there, he did an inspection on the kitchen there at the church we went to. Yeah. And it was not up to pass. Yeah. And there was... I don't know exactly what happened, but apparently the... The father, the priest or whatever of the church, like, got upset, was pretty much like, you should have passed us. You're a member of our shit. Oh, dude. Even at the low levels. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Fucking. Pull some game. And I I just never liked it. Yeah. Because I had, I was a latchkey kid. I went to CCD. Yeah. And that was that after school Catholic shit. Yeah, yeah. And, like. It just got really boring because how many times can you hear all those stories over and over? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like I'd come home and, like, everyone I went to school with was just, like, running around the neighborhood with, like, sticks and sword fighting and just, like, <laughs> yeah, their man. parents didn't give a shit. Yeah. And I was like, that's what I want. I <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. I want to go nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it is. A, the, the CCD is rough. Like, yes. Because that's – so you went after school, like, every day or once a week or – I'll say a few times a few, week. A few times a week, yeah. Because if it was every day, I would have shot myself in yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to go, when I was went to Sutton's Bay, they would, um, I could leave during, like, the last class to go to 
CCD. We call it something else. Oh, I think it was a little early too. Yeah, so that was kind of cool because I could get. I still got out of school at the same time, so I so I could take the bus yeah, home. But then you go to CCD. And I had to go there, and it was weird, and it smelled weird. And uh, my mom was actually a teacher at for the religion class. She taught religion at the CCD thing for for a while, and she was pretty good at it. Um, so that was kind of cool. But I just remember it's always smelled weird man it's like old and musty yeah and just like old everything seemed smell. unused like it was like nobody yeah. likes this place <laughs> kind of got like life's mold yeah. on it when i went to glen lake i used to leave early when did you go to glen lake you know i went to glen lake yeah i went until um i, I started going to sons bay in fourth grade so for kindergarten through third grade i went to glen lake so okay yeah so that's kind of how um you know, actually, I didn't really know Dusty or anybody like that back then. But I did. We did have mutual people that we knew, so it kind of helped us uh, get to know each other. And just have on down the line, um, yeah, I just you'd have mutual friends. People would always remember my last name too. There or everywhere. Yeah, so I always, guess that was probably hell. That was probably hell. I was be like, oh, I remember you from uh, from school and stuff. Hey, fucking wiener. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, I thought I had it rat hard. <laughs> Rademaker, no. You probably had it ten times wiener worse. Wiener was all right. Yeah, it was definitely, um, could be rough, but it also, you know, kind of helped with my sense of humor and stuff, I feel like. And oh, that's true. It wasn't really, I don't remember it ever being like that rough. I remember people making fun fun of me but I don't remember ever feeling bad really like yeah. I just remember being like haha whatever and it's also kind of it's so obvious that it's like yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like, like I know it's job. gonna be yeah. <laughs> yeah I know you're gonna laugh I know it's gonna be a thing <laughs> so whatever I, but yeah I went to the Glen Lake and then I would go at the end of the day I, my dad would pick me up and then take me to Lake Leelanau St. Mary's to for like an hour at the end of the day and then I'd go with all those kids for like an hour and those kids were all Catholic school kids mm-hmm. you know they have like they graduate classes of like 12 you were an outsider yeah so I was just like going to all the schools <laughs> basically dude yeah yeah and yeah that that was uh that was weird so it's, it's always like some kind of weird uncomfortable thing and it's like why well, I don't want to do this and yeah. yeah yeah it was always lame but you were probably like the bad boy to the girls in there. You were, that was, like, and that's oh. always kind of how it was too. When I went <laughs> to St. Francis, it was like, yeah, I can play that card. Oh, he's you know, he's in the fucking streets. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> out there in the world, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 I didn't get to Glen Lake till seventh grade. Okay. Okay. So you may have happened to cross. So what year did you graduate? Oh two. Same here. So you okay. probably had classes with Brad then, Brad Sharp. Do you remember him? No. I think he came in second grade-ish around when you did. Maybe. Brad Sharp. No. Do I know Brad Sharp now? Yeah, he always hung like out Brad, with us. Brad Brad? Like, Brad Brad. Yeah, skateboarding. Yeah. Brad, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. Beautiful eyes. Yes. Women throw themselves that. on him yes. and rape him. And yes. He has yes. like the best yeah, life. I think I fell, <laughs> fell victim to that once or twice. Not... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you you Not fell victim to Brad's beauty? Or? I fell victim as in women that I knew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, they went after him. You would go after him instead yeah. of me. Yeah, like once or twice. Yeah, it sucked so bad being uh, Dusty and Brad's friend. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because yeah, you're, yeah, you know, dude. you're. Yeah. You're a shadow in the corner. <laughs> yeah. And it's like around here, there's only so many leftovers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Things, things turn to nothing. By the quick. time the plate comes to you, there's nothing uh, yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Br- Brad yeah, still those gets two, that. dude. Fucking skateboarding and fucking, yeah, being cool. Yeah. They like, they cashed in on like, you know, a whole different new thing up here because like dusty was always like oh california like right. rocking all that style keep right. it up on that yeah and then brad was like from detroit and he was like loved hip-hop and like <laughs> did soccer and they had you know had all this interesting shit yeah. going on i didn't even know who the fuck i was as a yeah, person for, <laughs> it was sure. Like, for sure people were like you're not that interesting brian shut up <laughs> <laughs> that is you know yeah since i moved schools a few times too that was always kind of nice to be like you don't know where I came from. Like, yeah. I, you don't know my past. Like, I could be fucking an evil, crazy yeah. kid, or I could be, like, a super nice guy, whatever. So, yeah, that was always nice to... It's nice to play that card and be interesting. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't realize that, uh... 
when it's yeah dusty so dusty went to lived in california until and later he'd come back in the summers or something right i don't know yeah. i don't remember how that went. i don't yeah, whatever I never while i knew him i don't remember him going out there much yeah but you know that's yeah. a long time ago i don't yeah, remember right. shit back in the day yeah he he i just remember he left and never came back yeah <laughs> must really like it out there. I wonder how he yeah. likes it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he was, well, he was, like, doing photography for National Geographic or the San Diego Zoo, I think, for a while. He he was, like, a cameraman. Yeah, doing something. that stuff. Like, one morning I was watching, eating breakfast, watching uh, PBS, yeah. like, animal hour shit yeah. they had from the San Diego Zoo. And, yeah. like, I fucking saw his name in the credits. I was like, Dope, oh, dude. fucking Dusty. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> That's crazy. I guess That's he's moved up cool. there. I don't know to what extent. Yeah. But, um, I talked to Rod a little bit ago and he's yeah. like, oh yeah, he's trying to like move back here now. Oh, it's yeah. like, who knows? He's got... It seems like everybody's trying to move back here. Like, yeah. And people that I know that are really successful, that have done really well, like out west, own their own businesses, like, and it things just aren't really it doesn't seem like there's a future out there no. you know like there's no <laughs> it's apocalypse yeah, everything's on fire yeah. and all the stores and are closed there's no way to like buy a house and to raise kids mm-hmm. and stuff seems just like t- like too difficult like just straight up too fucking difficult yeah. To, yeah. to to make sense of it you know yeah and probably all the people that got to work from home moved yeah yeah, and then everyone that couldn't work from home just went to the tent yeah. cities, I guess. And yeah, sure. <laughs> joined the ranks. Well, yeah, that's now. It seems like it's kind of moving that way, even before the COVID. Though I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure this has definitely accelerated it. But uh, yeah, my life was going fucking fantastic before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I've yeah. been waiting my whole life for that, and everything was going perfectly. It's it's still good now. Yeah, I'm still working. Yeah, um, but. It, I had three months off, but if I didn't have those three months off, I would not have paid that debt with that sweet, sweet coat. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, man, tell me about it. That shit's crazy. That, I know a bunch of people that's like, I don't know, man, this shit's kind of kind of changed my life. <laughs> like, yeah, getting this fucking is like nine life grand changing. in a bad bank. It's like, oh, fuck, dude. I can, like, get out from under some, some debt, like maybe buy a new piece of equipment that you need for your business or something. Yep. Like, a few buddies that have bought, like, uh, fucking wood tools and various tools for doing man things for their jobs that I don't I, know about. But. I fucked up. I broke down. Like, I could have stayed on the sidelines longer, yeah. but after three months, I went nuts, and I was like, please bring me back anyway. Yeah. yeah. I will do whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, good did. for you, man. I mean, yeah. You know. One month's cool. fun. It, Two, yeah. I got super lucky being able that Mammoth stayed open where oh, I play right. music, you know, at Mammoth Distillery. So it's like... They were allowed because they were a distillery. They got around all a bunch of laws in the first place really? about shutting down and stuff because they weren't technically uh, a regular bar. So even though they didn't serve food, they oh. could they stayed open. They don't serve food there. They don't serve food there. Oh, okay, yeah. and uh, that's weird. Yeah, and I've been yeah I've been playing since like July. So it's been. So how often do you great. play there? Three days a week. Really? Yeah. How the, is the it? Three different ones. There's one in Bel Air, and there's one in Central Lake, and there's one in Travers. It's good, you know. Uh, sometimes, it's generally it's been great. Like everybody seems pretty safe, and you know, you wear a mask until you sit down. And there's not. It's generally a pretty classy place, so there's not a lot of like drunken debauchery and people hanging on each other and stuff like that. And not, and you know, there's probably like maybe twenty feet between me and anybody else, so that's all good. Um, I, I do still worry about shit though too, man. It's kind of like yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah, I and I do kind of still feel bad because it's like I don't want to be out there spreading shit or being a part of um, anybody anybody's problem. But I also got to make money, and I don't, you know, it's yeah, this shit. Especially what I do, it's like this shit could go away fast, and I feel lucky to be able to be doing it. So. Uh, I'm just doing my best to be safe and stuff. And so you have to wear a mask when you play? There. I don't, because I'm singing. Did you all at all at any point? Mm-mm. Okay, that's yeah. good. I mean, I, I do sometimes, like, I'll do... Well, at first, I would, like, if I was doing a long... I'd do a lot of looping and stuff, you know? So I might throw in a, a mask, just leave it around there, and then maybe put it up. Or if people come... If a bunch of people come in, but now I really... Yeah, I just kind of leave it off the whole time. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's that, but, yeah, I'm grateful to be... 
be playing. It was nice though when um, during the like big lockdown, I was doing a lot of stuff on the computer and like doing some more music writing kind of stuff. Oh, that's good. So that was nice. Yeah, yeah that was really nice, and it kind of made me realize like, oh, I need to be doing more of this. I can't just. It's great to be playing live all the time because it's money, but it's also uh, you got to be doing different stuff to keep fucking moving forward. You yeah, know? I don't want to yeah. just be playing Van Morrison covers for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I like I when we started talking about doing this podcast and things, I thought like it would be really cool to like you know start something, but then work it to something bigger where we had like a network. Yeah, sure. And other dude. people could. How would you? Well, I do actually know a couple. Uh, one of my buddies, uh, Johnny, did production work for um, just that, like a local company that does. He have a studio out by Suns Bay. I don't think so. His okay. name's Johnny Tornga, and he works... He does a lot of event planning, I think, for Jolly Pumpkin. Okay. Um, but he, he's a drummer. He plays. He's a great musician. He plays with a bunch of people. And he was doing... Yeah, podcasts. Uh, I've got a couple of them saved on my phone. One was about, like, breweries in Michigan, I think. Another one was about running, something like that. And, uh, yeah, he worked... I don't know how many guys it was, how big it was, anything like that. But uh, they would go to, like... You know, if somebody, a space, I think it was probably normally just like little office conference spaces and stuff, and then mm-hmm. sit down, sup the mics, and go for it. It's not a bad idea. It's a pretty good uh, way to kind of make money. Like, what we could do, we could like rent um, a space and have a little podcast studio in there. Yeah. Um, stuff set up and then rent it out to people, you know, have, have other people be able to use it too, and then have somebody in there that does all the kind of production work. So that would just kind of edit and put everything up you know which isn't and maybe do scheduling and stuff like that yeah it's not a bad idea no yeah like that's like my dream house i'm gonna get yeah uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a pull barn and i'm gonna have like it's gonna be big enough where i can section off some drywall it yeah maybe do a studio deal in there and yeah. then have a garage area to work yeah. in yeah but that would probably not go hand in hand very well if you're trying to Sure, garages, yeah, to sound, yeah. and yeah, you'd have to do one or... So one, that's a bad idea. One or the other at either time. Yeah. I guess a basement works, too. But it... I just think the way things are going now, it would be great to have, like, just a network where anybody can do whatever sure. they want on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, like, what do you... Like, a bunch of different podcasts, or just, like, kind of, like, just... Yeah. Content of any kind. Content of yeah. any kind, because that's getting weird now. Yeah, and like I and I know I said this about Rogan's podcast before. It felt like the content got different after yeah. Spotify. Yeah, and that one with McConaughey felt super weird and yes. gross. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What is this <laughs> bullshit, dude?" He's yeah, just, every day of his life is a perfect fucking yeah. Lincoln commercial. Yeah, man, and you're just talking about oh, reading my journals, and this is a. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, it sounds great, dude. Like, even your bad times sound like your fucking like uh, best time of my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I was hoping he'd just get to the point and be like, "All right, all right, you want to hear something fucked up?" Yeah, of course, <laughs> that's what he should be, right? It's like, all right, man, here's the here's what's here's what's fucking going on, because yeah. you know this shit like that, right? You know, it's not he's not always super fucking mellow all the time, and he said as much, like, but. It's like tell us the fuck it. Tell us the story. Yeah. Like, tell us the time where you fucked up. I want to hear like the fuck yeah, up shit. Yeah. This isn't know. a fucking Lincoln commercial. <laughs> Get real, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's great you fucking learned and now you have got positivity <clears throat> from it and stuff. But uh, let's hear that time where like yeah you did too much blow and fucking yes. you know drove to the keys the and <laughs> boy. And then yeah. the the, Those, episode, the one after that was not that great either. Yeah. I don't remember. What was his. that? I don't remember. Probably what must not have been that great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like right off the tip of my tongue, I can't remember. But then when I saw that Alex Jones and Tim Dillon were on, I was like, Yeah. This is gonna be fucking wicked. I take it all back about yeah. content. Yeah. But, but then Jones was just too shit faced. Yeah. Cause Rogan he's doing Sober October. Yeah. So was Jamie. Yeah. I don't know if Dylan was mm-hmm. but I don't think he drinks. Or, Dylan? Um, I don't or, think so. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I don't. In fact, I know he doesn't because he talks about how he used to I drink think, and do cocaine a lot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like I think they've touched on that a yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. But, like, Jones was just 
too like he was like I'm not freaking drunk you guys should be nice to me and just like oh, slurring man, a bit dude. and I wanted him just to unleash like his full info war phoenix on yeah, us yeah but it was just like it sounded weird dude, that's rough I mean what's he thinking like drinking a bunch on the biggest fucking podcast he's, in the world he was talking about retiring really yeah because yeah. he's like Maybe, dude, he's got to be stressed the fuck yes, out. <laughs> exactly. Like, he's always yeah. screaming. Like, yeah. Well, his voice was all <clears throat> fucked up. The first thing I noticed, like, oh, it sounds like he's like, lost his voice. Or yeah, something. he's like, I've got like, yeah. I'm probably gonna live till I'm 55, and I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna hang up the coat in a year or two. Oh boy, buddy. But he's just too. Fu- I'm not gonna say fucked up in the head. Yeah. But like every time someone, he's like one of those people that has to get a last word, probably. Right. Right. Because, like, he's like, I wanted to leave a long time ago. But then the Democrats kept saying stuff yeah, to me. And, like, yeah. they thought they were going to get me to leave. And it's like, so to get you to leave, all they have to do is stop fucking reacting yeah. to you. <laughs> Someone's fucking retarded in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it could yeah, end man. like. <laughs> yeah. He's. Um, <clears throat> what was I just thinking about him? Yeah, he's like, he can't. He seems to have a really hard time um hearing somebody else's he, he has a hard time feeling like he's not being attacked like it's almost like you could ha- agree with the guy and yes. be like blah, 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 you, and it's like well whatever <laughs> yes yes yeah. there are just there are like those the, just the idea that he might have to like oh prove something or be like um uh, don't close uh no <laughs> okay. what's going on uh, okay. i'm gonna stop this real quick and save it just Reefer or one of the Mac Refurb stores. I forget which one. If you're looking, I'll send it to you. But it, it actually worked out really well. Really? It was like maybe <clears throat> 600 bucks since like really? 2015. I fucked up so bad. What did you like, get? I had a really nice HP back in the day. Yeah. And it was like top of the line, super fast. Yeah. I got it when I was in fire school. And then... um. That I'm not gonna lie, I porned it out. Sure, sure. Porned it out hard. Sure. It's and um easy to do. had to get a new one and I was like, this is gonna be something there's never gonna be porn on it. And I've never mm-hmm. watched porn on it. Good for you. But <laughs> good for you. you fought the urge, man. Good job. <laughs> well my fucking iPhone's wrecked, so <laughs> <laughs> gotta gotta go somewhere. Gotta go somewhere. Somebody's gotta pay yeah. the, the price of the piper. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen. But um <clears throat> I got a Lenovo when I went and started doing college and um, I went into Best Buy and I, it was about the same price as this, Yeah. but I guarantee you it does half the shit and it's twice as slow. And I was yeah. like, you know, I'm going to school. I just need to be able to do like administrative yeah. type apps and documents and, you know, watch shit on here, download yeah. stuff. And they were like, okay. And I didn't realize until now, like, that laptop sucks for streaming. Yeah. Really bad. Because um, I was watching HBO on it, and I am far from the router at the house, and I understand that. But it's like it freezes and rebuffers like every five seconds on my laptop. And then when I went to the PS4, yeah, doesn't do it at no all. No problem. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming my laptop sucks and I pay too much. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a cute little thing, though. It's hard that the Macs are like, I was looking at some other ones because I kind of I kind of didn't want to get a Mac this time, you know? I don't know. Um, well, I thought, I mean, when I say that, I thought about it, but then with all the music stuff, it's like, well, what the fuck else am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah, there's really not a lot of other, <clears throat> other options for that kind of thing. It would be cool, though, if there was, man, if, like, if I, if, if somebody just made a computer specifically for making music... You know that was like under a thousand bucks, but it had cause it had all the the best music stuff in it. You know, it seems like that would be a good. Like, are you talking laptop? Or yeah, like, just like laptops. I don't know. I mean, I know you can do it. One. I know you can like custom make custom shit. make one, or just get a really expensive computer yeah. and it'd be good. But um, I don't know what my point was. Anyways, <laughs> computers. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> computers are fun. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I had to get. I what happened was I ax. I got a new phone, 
And then I, um, the phone wasn't fucking working. I don't know. And then I ended up accidentally updating that computer, my old MacBook, and then all my software stopped working. But then I couldn't, the, the, the new update of the software, I couldn't update the operating system on that one, right? Really? You're right. So, but the new, but, oh, fuck, what the fuck happened? It was one of these quagmires in which basically everything <laughs> stopped working. Like, yeah. the operating system that it went up to wasn't high enough for the programs on it to get the new version. Oh, okay. But I couldn't go back to the old operating system, and then the programs on there... It tapped out. Yeah. It, <laughs> it tapped out. So I was yeah. like, uh, I was, <laughs> fuck. And it was like at the beginning of COVID, dude, I was so sad. I was like, oh, I, really? I finally have this time, and I can't fucking do anything on my computer. But it all worked out good. I got a new one, and life goes on. I get fucking emotional when things break dude yes. sometimes I'm like, <laughs> i think it's like the end of the world like yeah. god damn it when my porn top went down it was yeah 21 gun salute yeah that sounds fucking weird <laughs> like, uh, what does that mean like, exactly a million wrong ways You're like you and 20 of your yeah, friends no 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 <laughs> okay I, I say the worst things <laughs> but that's the best part about it um but yeah and uh the and then I got a PS4, a PlayStation PS4 Slim, and that was a terrible purchase. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's working now, but I bought it brand new around Thanksgiving for, like, you got the con. So do you have any consoles or I anything? I don't. I okay. don't. Good for being an adult. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about I'm I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm I might be getting into it, man. I don't know. I try. I've got a Nintendo. I've got a Super Nintendo downstairs. Yeah. But no, I don't have any consoles. But I don't know, dude. They look pretty cool, man. I mean, some of these games, like... Yeah. Like, they have... I was uh, listening... I'm sorry, I'll let you get back to what you were saying. Oh, no, that's fine. Keep going. But I was listening to uh, um, something on, like, NPR about, like, all this jazz music that's in this video game and, like, making music for video games and how the... Do you know what game it was? No, because I just heard the first part of it and then uh, I was in my... I was doing something else. But it sounded awesome. Okay. And so that's, yeah. So And I always hear just little snippets of things about video games these days. And it's like, fuck, that sounds sweet. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. Like, like yeah. I, I'm a loser, but God. I love it. I love it. I, I love we being are. single and being able to do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's, I, I kind of have the what's best your, life. What's your game? Yeah. Yeah, don't take it for granted for yeah. sure, man. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, like, I, I was always jealous of all my friends. Like, yeah all them because they always got like really pretty beautiful girlfriends and like sure. i never got anything and i was like god i'd kill to be them and then like now i'm looking at their lives down the road and i'm like i would kill myself <laughs> if i were them <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like yeah. that shit went wrong yep yep and they're just fucking hanging out now but um yeah my main game right now is dark souls 3 okay have you ever heard of that no it's the most brutal punishing game ever I got turned on to it by a kid I used to work with when I was doing manufacturing. And, you know, he gave me the full disclosure. He's like, yeah, it's fucking brutal, dude. You, when you die, you lose. Like, you get to keep your items you have. Yeah. But any, like, progression towards, like, okay, so to progress in the game, you have to kill things and get souls. Yeah. Through the game, you get more souls. But when you die, you lose all the souls you have. Okay. And that really fucking you need that yeah. like it sucks yeah. sometimes and uh, but the cool thing is you can go back to where you died yeah. and get them but that thing that killed you is right it's by still you. there yeah okay but and and there's other cool features um, before I got into Dark Souls three I got into Sekiro yeah did you see any of that no, that's I don't it. um so the the company that makes these games is called From Software okay and. They make the most beautiful in-depth games ever. Yeah. There's like hardcore lore. Um, the the maps for the levels are just like vertically and horizontally huge. Yeah, yeah. and it's just a whole other. It's like Game of Thrones. And in fact, their next game, Elden Ring, George R. R. Martin is helping them do. But guess it's it's like the books. Everything keeps getting pushed back, yeah, and nothing's yeah, happening. Yeah. But. Um, that's where it all seems it's like these are the new movies these are the new novels or yeah. video games and, yeah and they yeah they seem so in depth uh, <clears throat> I don't know what 
Yeah, I guess I just have to get one and then just, like, start with a game to kind of figure out what I like or what I'd be into, you know? Because yeah. it seems like they're so different nowadays that I don't even know what, like, the genres are. Or, like, there's all these, like, what it looks to me just like role-playing games, pretty much, where mm-hmm. you're a person walking around in, like, an open world. And that seems pretty fun. Uh, but it also seems like, I don't know what, I, I've i never really played those kind of games before. Like, I never yeah. got into Halo, even, or any of, like, those shooter yeah. games. So it's yeah. like, I've always just have stuck to the 2D games. <laughs> and that's fucking kind of where still I left fun, off, you know? Fun, yeah. yeah, like, do they make new 2D, new 2D games? For, like, remasters of it? Like... Well, remasters of old ones would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, they basically like brought shit back. Yeah, okay. They did like a new Contra. Yeah. I never played it. Like, I never had Nintendo or anything. Yeah. I, I came in for PlayStation in high school. Okay, that's when I came in too. I never had, and my parents would let me have Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did have a Game Boy. Yeah. I did have a Game Boy. I, I borrowed one and then I punched a kid on the school bus. <laughs> And they took then, it away. And then they <laughs> and then they found yeah, it was the whole thing. We give you one taste of the outside <laughs> world and you do this is how you think us. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, oh bad, my that God. was a bad day. Um Yeah, I think I still might have the Game Boys. Yeah. I have to look for those. We did have them and then like at one point my sister was like, I wanna give them to her my kids. Yeah. And it's like her kids at the time were like two and I wanna say five. Yeah. And they're just like they're fucking demons. Yeah. They tear shit up, yeah. throw shit like my nephew is like he's just like me when I was little. He's yeah. just like high strung and like just a crazy ass little monkey. Yeah. And um yeah, I was like, no, that's like I love those. Yeah, right. <laughs> they, they don't know what to do. They with have this. value to me and they're just yeah. gonna like spill shit on it and ruin it. And yeah, man. Fuck it, that. It was an episode with my family because my mom's sister were like, Well come on. Uh, 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 and I was like, No. <laughs> No, not this. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. This is the line. What did you play on PlayStation? Uh, when I first got it? Yeah. So, the only thing I can really remember is Tony Hawk. Uh, yeah, that was the big, that was the big one. That's, yeah. Um, that was like the only game I remember for. Oh, I think you used to play Crash Bandicoot on that shit too. You know what else I used to do on it? You could put a CD in it and then it would play like, it had like a kind oh, of a yeah. visual visualizer the thing. Yeah, little visuals yeah, I mean, my for the friends would like steal my friend's mom's sleeping pills in the. End. I never <laughs> thought about that once, but as soon as yeah. you said put in a disc, I was like, and yeah. the shit comes on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I think, I think, oh, maybe I didn't have a PlayStation. I thought I did. Maybe I had a PlayStation Two. Because I'm starting to think of games, and I'm thinking about games that were on PS Two. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that's. I thought I had a PlayStation, but maybe I can't. Yeah, I got. Too. I somebody gave me a Super Nintendo a few years ago, and I've got a PlayStation downstairs. Sometimes I try to set it up and fuck around with it, and it just doesn't really hold my attention. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I remember on the PS2, I got the Lord of the Rings game. Yeah. And at the time, it was like fucking mind blowing. Yeah. Cause you're, it was like almost like 3D. You got a path, you got to stay on, but you can mm. move around it 3D. Yeah. And it was so intense to me. Yeah. And yeah. I, I haven't seen it since. But if I saw it now, I'd be like, "That's stupid." That's, yeah, <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> like I wanted to like get, cause I couldn't play these Nintendo games when I was a kid. <clears throat> so now I'm like, oh man, I got Street Fighter. I've got fucking, I've got NBA Jam. Oh. I'll I'll play it, and it's like that's cool. And it just gets boring after ten minutes. Mortal like, Kombat oh, is nuts now. I wish I was a child. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, yeah, they really kept, like, going up and up. Yeah. The trajectory continued with Mortal Kombat. Dude, that used to be, that was the fucking controversial game. Yeah, back in just the day, ripping dude. out spinal cords like, and just doing fucked yeah. up shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that shit was awesome, though. Dude, I was so into I used to buy, like, video game magazines just to, like, look at the pictures of the video yeah, games. Yeah, and they, I think they had codes in the back, too. Yeah. I was too stupid to do cheat codes, though. Really? I, I had Mortal Kombat for my Game Boy, and that was it. It seemed hard. I remember I could yeah. do, like, the Sub-Zero Freeze one. Yeah, because his are always, like, back, back, forward, yeah. A. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, yeah. Everyone else, like, Raiden's, his were fucking that intense. Is, that's, you're making me remember. I That's probably Mortal Kombat Game Boy. I played that a ton. I don't know how, though, because I just must have borrowed... I must have borrowed 
my friends or people's, and then that's how I ended up punching yeah. the kid, which is uh, so <laughs> hilarious. It's like exactly the thing. That's what Mortal Kombat did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You became exact a Mortal Kombat. example of what happens. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. The like, I'm, I'm the kid. I'm why they outlawed it. Yep, I was just like that. Um, I just saw a new trailer or, like, a commercial. Because f- when they do these new Mortal Kombat games for, like, the rest of the year after the game initially comes out, maybe two years, while they're working on the next game, they release new characters. That's like oh. where they get you with money, you know. Dude, nice. And oh, God, they fucking they've done a good job of how to squeeze in that dollar yeah. out of people. Oh, man. they're so good at it now. And <laughs> yeah. the newest one is Rambo oh. in the game. Yeah, gotta get Rambo. Yeah, um, but they've done Terminator, RoboCop, Rambo, Spawn. Uh, one of the Ninja Turtles. It just sounds fun. Just it sounds is. fun like, talking about it. It's but. it's so fun, but like I played Mortal Kombat and yeah. it kind of got like 2D back in the day was intense yeah. and crazy, but like after playing games now, you're just punching and kicking and moving right. backwards and forward. It's yeah, like, right. I I've grown into like in depth. Yeah, things the, now. Yeah, there's more complex things. It's yeah, just, but I still love the art. I still love yeah. just everything yeah. for that game. It's it's fun to watch. Yeah. I do you ever watch other people play games like on Twitch or whatever? Oh, yeah, sometimes I used to, like I used to think that was so stupid. My yeah. friend's son cuz like when that shit started like being a thing, yeah. my friend's son would be watching people playing video games yeah. and sometimes watching someone watching someone playing i'm like what the fuck is this this is the dumbest thing you're just like the biggest waste of time yeah. and then like years later i'm watching someone yeah. play a video game yeah but it's like there's yeah there's something comforting about it i always i've always liked watching people play games like in the room and i'll be like yeah. no nah, you can play like i'll just watch you play yeah it's more fun for me yeah. you know what you're doing and shit so uh, yeah, it's it's fun to and sometimes I watch them now so I can like see the games and check them out without actually having to buy anything or commit to anything. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that's another thing. I'd like to play games like quarter way through. Yeah, see what it's like. But there's a new one coming out for Cyberpunk 2077. Have you heard yeah, about that? No. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. <laughs> Oh, man. It's big. It's like <laughs> the the company that did this game has been working on it for ever, and its release date keeps getting pushed and pushed. It was supposed to come out last April. Yeah. It was supposed to come out September. It got pushed, and I think it just got pushed again. It's like everything, dude. It's like fucking Top Gun. Yeah, but they, they're. I mean, I understand the virus shut shit down, yeah. so people. Things got probably put behind. They they've been postponing since before the virus, but like now, I guess this game is gonna be cross platform, so like Xbox and PlayStation can play together. Yeah, and I th- I think that's where the future of gaming is gonna yeah. be is like being able to do that because Fortnite did that. Okay. Yeah. And I hated it, but I could catch up with my buddy Zach, play with him on there, sure. and I it's like I like it now. I guess yeah. it's because because yeah. you can yeah. hang out with your friend. Yeah, because that's really what it's about at the end of the day, right? It's yeah. Like, well, what's every? I don't want to be the only person talking about this thing or yeah. doing this thing for all the time, at least. Yeah, and he lives downstate, and I never get to see him. Yeah, that shit's cool. That seems yeah. like a great way to hang out with friends, and then you're talking, chilling, but you don't have to be like on the phone and be like, oh, yeah. what the fuck. Uh, I haven't seen you in five years. I don't know. What yeah, talking. just like virtually <laughs> hanging out, and yeah. just doing weird shit. Yeah. It's like I yeah. fuck with my friends on there. That really seems like that's the thing that always brings me back to being like, yeah, dude, get into video games because like that sounds like a blast. And you're fucking playing chess or something. Like you could do anything on yep. there and just mess around. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the company that put that game out, CD Projekt Red, I think they're a Polish company, maybe. Yeah be very wrong about that so don't quote me but they did the witcher all those games yeah yeah. and there's another one i think it might have been called steampunk i can't remember but they do like they get pretty in depth with their games great detail yeah it's it's no dark souls or sekiro but it's still really good yeah do you ever play red dead redemption i did i got fucking hooked into that yeah um that one looked pretty cool i was watching yeah, that, that it was fun, and then when they made it online, mm-hmm. it 
kind of started sucking. It was it was fun the first few months, but like nobody even plays it anymore. Really? Yeah, yeah. And and the map is just too big for like you can have fifty people on a server at a time. Yeah. And their map is so big, like you don't see them. Yeah. You might run across them. Like, if if I wanted to find someone, I'd go to the nearest town. And then when I get there, they'd kill me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and, it's, and it's kind of fun. You can duke it out with people. Like everyone's yeah. shooting. And like one time I saw this one dude and I was like, I just put my weapons away and just like put the fist up. And he actually like, <laughs> we yeah, kept with fighting it. with the fist to the death <laughs> and finding each other and doing it again and again and again. That's awesome. Yeah. So that was fun. And you can do fucked up shit. You can like lasso people, drag them with a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hog tie them, throw them off a cliff. Yeah. There's so much shit. But ultimately... Is there any, like, goofy games that's, like, just a lot of goofy kind of silliness? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm thinking of a game that's, like, like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, Dude. the game, you know? So, so like, I haven't played anything like that in a long time. Yeah. Um, trying to think, trying to think. There was Fable. Okay. That was like kind of like, like an in-depth big game, but yeah. it was like you fought and stuff, but it was more like Disney-like. Okay. And Disney yeah. actually has a, a series of games. I just already like, forgot what it's called. Like Magic and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, remember? Do you remember Mickey Mouse's the Mickey Mouse video game on Super Nintendo? That one no. was sweet. I never had. No, Dude, I never saw one, that. That one was cool. Um, <laughs> the heck was it called? Yeah, you're just Mickey Mouse running around having a good time and a bunch of things. What was it called? Uh, I don't know. Mickey Mouse's Magic Kingdom. Some super <laughs> Probably, shit like that. Oh, I don't know. The, those Disney game Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kingdom Heart are hearts. But, um, yeah, you play as a character and it's kind of like you meet these characters, go on this story, you get special character weapons and yeah. stuff like that. I played it a long time ago on PS2 and yeah. it was fun. We, but, should have a, we should have a podcast where we play a video game. Yeah, do a live stream type of deal. Yeah. Did that just shut off? I don't think so. I think it just, it's never done that before, though. It's okay, actually. that's weird. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Cool. Well, do you want to call it? Let's run yeah, call it. Yeah, we good? had a good run. Yeah, dude. We had a good run. Yeah, that went that well. A lot better than I thought. Yeah. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> just have a Fine conversation. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Until next time, next listeners. Time. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure out a theme song for yeah, the beginning. Yeah, that's true.